This is a recap for Friday, January 7th. And we took notes today uh, from a document called Cami Week 13. And so you can uh, you don't have to open that up if you're following along from home. Uh, you can just add these examples into your notes. I'm going to do more examples than we probably did in class. Um, but um, you probably need a little extra help if you're following along at home. Uh, the main idea uh, for converting units is to multiply by 1. And I'm going to zoom in here a bit. So the idea of multiplying by 1. And by a useful or a helpful one. I'll put one in quotations. So one could be, for example, there is one foot in 12 inches. But another one is that there's 12 inches in one foot. These are both ones. And one of them might be helpful or useful in converting, and the other might not be. So I will explain kind of by doing some examples here. So to convert, we're always going to multiply by 1, and we're going to try the most helpful one. So we start by, let's do this first one, problem number 16. So if I have 20 feet, I'm going to write 20 feet, and I'm going to make it into a fraction and multiply by a 1 that has feet in the denominator. So one foot is 12 inches. What that does is allows me to eliminate those units. Foot divided by foot is 1. Anything divided by self is 1. So just off separately, if I have 2 divided by 2, that's equal to 1. A foot in length divided by a foot in length is also equal to 1. Any unit divided by itself is 1. So now I'm going to do 20 times 12 and get 240. And then I have that as my unit. So this is 240 inches. So really concentrate on the format where we write it like this. OK, let's try the next one, 6,000 pounds to tons. So we're going to write 6,000. And we'll use LBs for pounds over 1, that creates a fraction, times, and I'm going to set this up with 1, or I'm going to put pounds right here, and tons right here. So 1 ton is 2,000 pounds. In class we've got our booklets that have all, those in, all that information. If you don't have your booklet and you don't have that information, you can actually find it on this document. Um, in fact, let's zoom out real quick and I'll show you where to find that. If you go up here, you're going to find all the information that you need right there. All right, let's zoom back in here. And so I'm going to eliminate pounds and pounds. And so we have 6,000 divided by 2,000. And we worked in the fall on how to multiply fractions and how the denominator numerator is divided by the denominator. So this is 6,000 divided by 2,000. And that's equal to 3. So this is 3 tons. 6,000 pounds is 3 tons. Let's try another one. 50 meters to centimeters. So I write 50 meters. And we put it over 1, and we multiply it by, and we want meters right here, and we want to know how many centimeters in 1 meter. And there is 100. So then I put a 1 right there. I can cancel my meters. 50 times 100 is 5,000. So there's 5,000 centimeters in 50 meters. OK, I'm going to go over to this side for the next couple. I'm going to start this one actually kind of right up here because it's going to take a few steps. We're going to write two miles, or no, this one is not going to. Next one is. Okay, so two miles 
over 1 times, and I want miles right here, 1 mile, so I can eliminate those, 5,280 feet. So the miles cancels with miles. Miles divided by miles is 1. 2 times 5,280 is 10,560, and we have feet are the units. So 10,560. All right, if you're um, following along and you want to try this, I would stop the video right now and I'm going to do these right here. And um, so try those and then I will put those answers in. And or I'll put the solution. So go ahead and stop the video, try them, and then uh, come back. Okay, I'm assuming that you came back. And let's do number 17. 4 miles over 1 times 1 mile is 5,280 feet. Miles cancels with miles. <coughs> Excuse me. 4 times 5,280 is 21,000. 120 feet, 4 hours, over 1 times 60 minutes in 1 hour, hours cancel, 4 times 60 is 240, so 240 minutes. 160 ounces. Notice how I always put the the um, unit with the number and then over one and then the unit uh, that I want to eliminate, change from, always goes on the bottom ounces. 16 ounces in one pound. So this is going to be 160 divided by 16. That's 10 pounds. 2,500 meters over one. One kilometer has 1,000 meters. So we eliminate meters. And 2,500 divided by 1,000 is 2.5 kilometers. Okay, now the next level is when we want to change units, but we have to do a couple of steps. So uh, we're going to do just this mile one over here, and then we'll do the hour one on this side. All right, so if I'm trying this one right here, I have one mile over one. Let's rewrite that a little better. One mile over one times, and I don't have the number of inches on a chart in a mile, but I know feet. So it's 5,280 feet in one mile. Mile divided by miles is one, so we've got 5,280 feet, and now we have to convert that to inches. So we're gonna put feet on the bottom, one foot, is 12 inches. So now I'm going to do 5,280 times 12 inches in every foot and get 63,360 inches. So if you want to try the um, hour, so what made this different is we had to do two steps. We had to do this step right here, which was to change it to feet, and then we had to do this step right here, which was to change feet to inches. So if you want to try one on your own, we're going to do four hours to seconds. If you want to um, try that and then come back, so let's stop the video, go try it. Okay, I'm assuming that you tried it. Let's check it. We're going to do four hours over one times, and I don't have the number of seconds in an hour, but I do know minutes. So I'm gonna do 60 minutes in one hour. 
hours cancel. So I now have 240 minutes over one times there are 60 seconds in one minute, in each minute. The minutes now cancel out. So I do 240 times 60 and I get 14,400 seconds. All right, and that is a recap uh, for Friday, January 7th.